Hey, what's going on YouTube? So the last time we talked, we, we installed that Garage Alpha grill for the LX470. And yeah, I had some issues about the install, but it wasn't because of the actual grill itself. Now, did I have to modify some things? Yes. Did I have to, you know, just change out the screws? I mean, that's the only modification. Would you even call that a modification? I mean, it's just screws, right? You know, the OEM screws just weren't the right screws. So, uh, would I say it's a direct replacement? Absolutely, it worked. Just needed longer screws. Garage Alpha also gave me three marker lights, right? Or some people call them Raptor lights. So if you look at this marker light, it's gonna have, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's gonna have four LEDs on the inside. And then they just snap right into place into that grill. There's like little ears. Let's see if you can see this here. There's little ears right here that snap in. So on the back side of this, there's four of them. One, two, three, four little areas where it just snaps right into the grill. So when you install this, we're gonna install this from the outside or the front of the vehicle. We'll slide it right in. You'll have the pigtail in place. It's got a little rubber grommet on the inside for water resistance because nothing's waterproof, right? And then on the other side, since there's three, we have three male ends of that same plug. And then it has a little positive connection, so when you, when you actually push it in, it'll snap in place. And the way that it's all wired, it goes into one loom uh, with a protective conduit to prevent chafing. And then all the way at the other end, you have your positive and negative connection. If you have a, a uh, switch panel, like a Switch Pro or some sort of switch panel, typically those come with a fuse and a relay. And if you don't have a switch panel, then all you need to do is splice this into your uh, marker lights. That way, every time your lights turn on, those, those uh, Raptor or marker lights will turn on as well. So let's get on to the install. All right, first things first, we open up the hood. And then, I guess the most important part of this is to determine where we're gonna put these marker lights at. So we can mock it up saying, hey, that's, that's, that's a center one. Let's see, we want to put it a little closer here. All right, so we got center one there. Now, technically we could go as far out as way over here for wide distance, right? But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna put it a little closer. I, I like it where it's, I think it'll, it'll be good right about there. In all honesty, if you don't like the way that it looks in that particular order, then hey, just, you know, they're on clips, so you just got to be careful and move the clips back. So, positive connection, all you got to do is push. But be careful, right, because they are plastic little snaps. Boom, perfect, oh wow. You have to get your fingers inside there, Zach. There we go. Yeah, so. Eh, it's just you don't want to break it, so I could see. Boom, just like that. My grill's so dirty right now. Now we have these dangly little wires right here. Now, make sure that you have zip ties and you'll just have to follow the hood back, right? Because the way that this works is that you have the insulation here and you're not just gonna run the wires straight down. You wanna actually hide them either A, behind the insulation or you want to be able to run it around so that it comes down next to the hood strap. After looking at it, I'm going to run it straight down the, uh, through, the ins through this, uh, this insulation. And I'll run it down the back side. So I'm running the, the bare wires. See, oh, I can already see it come through here. And I'm going to try to pull as much as possible in and get it to come out 
through the back. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So, yeah, Zach, do you want to go ahead and plug that one in? Alright, you see how it goes? Mm -hmm. So you got these two, look at this, you got these yeah. two little horns. That one goes on the bottom. Alright, the two horns go into the little, little bubble area on the top. Can I do that one? Yep, do the last one. Good. And let's just pull out the excess right here so we can get it. Oh, you got it? All right, now tighten it up. Here's another, I have one on my waist. Hmm? Oh, you do? Okay. So make sure these wires are together. Good. Okay. And we won't cut just yet. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, I got this first one right there, right? Yeah. Oh, no, closer. So it's almost at the very end of it. Like this? Yep. So the thing is, you see how it has the hole right there? You can't put it all in the end. So Okay, so the install is complete. Super easy, especially if you have a switch module or some sort of like S-Pod or something along those lines. The daytime running lights would be like the corner markers. Let's see, if we had the corner markers on. <clears throat> yeah, so these corner lights, you could definitely, if you had enough wire, you could tie it into the corner lights and then they would go on every time that you uh, turn on the daytime running, or not daytime running lights, but the parking lights. Hey, so there you have it. Super easy install. I recommend it. I believe that on their website, it's like an extra $30 to get these, these marker lights. You know, some people like them, some people don't. With this, at least, if I don't want to, I don't have to turn them on. But if I want to, I can turn them on. And just to give you an update on this grill, this grill, it is still one of my favorite additions to the uh, to the LX. My car is pretty dirty, so maybe it'll get a Easter bath. Hey, if you have any questions about the marker lights or the grill, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Hey, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.